Hey YouTube, out here to do another test here with the Evo. And this test is going to be uh, twofold, actually. It's going to be with two different things. All right, first I'm going to take this Evo and my plan is I'm going to set up a waypoint flight. I'm going to fly it out in that direction 100 feet. Well, first I'm going to start it at 15 feet in the air. Then I'll fly it out to... Uh, and, and have it go 35 feet in the air, okay? Um, and then I'm going to have it go up another 100 feet, and that'll be uh, 55 feet. Then I'm going to have it come back over 100 feet to uh, at 75 feet up in the air, and then I'll have it come back home here to um, 15 feet again, and then have it land. So I'm going to set that up with with this Evo uh, because the place I was going to do this test did not work out. So I've had to come out here in the middle of nowhere. And uh, in fact, if you think about it, you might actually recognize this place. This is where I did my uh, my test with my FJ. Follow me. But anyhow, so the plan is is do it with this first. Then I'm going to do the exact same thing with my Solo. A three-year-old machine, uh, what they call their stuff is MPCC, uh, which is just multi-cable cam, is, is all it stands for. And um, this Evo, that obviously is three years younger, it's brand new, should be able to do this stuff without stalling and, and all that kind of thing. Okay? And I'll show you that the Solo can do the exact same thing and do it smoothly on the ups and the downs, whereas this don't do any of that. So... Uh, when I did the test yesterday just to show the size comparison of the Evo and the Solo, three people got extremely aggravated with me. And uh, so this is a warning for those three. You'll know who you are. Do not watch this video, okay? I know you say, oh, it's a different class. It's a different this, a different that. I don't care. This is what I've got. This thing works. This will put this Evo to shame on this one feature, one feature only. But I'm hoping Autel will honestly watch this and see that three-year-old technology is beating them in this whole waypoint game. So that needs to be fixed, needs to be fixed pronto and good. Okay, so let's go on with this test. I'm ready to go. Okay, see now it's shooting straight up again, which again it should not do, but it is. And then it's flying towards the next point. We got 50% of our battery life left. Okay, now let's see how long it takes it to turn. Now it turned. Okay, that's pausing again, it's going very slow, it is still moving, now it's dropping straight down, and it's turning, and see these drops should not happen, but at least I think it's going to finally complete this one. It's dropping down again. Now it's heading back this way. It's going very slow. And I was just going to sit there. So I'm going to go ahead and end this test and I'll at least call this one successful. Okay, so you should be able to see down here now I've got my solo ready to go. got the controller ready to go. got everything fired up. So let's go up 
and do the exact same test and uh, and and see how this works. So let's let's get this up in the air. All right. We're going to take it up to 33 feet. You can see it's a lot louder. Or 35 feet. Down a little bit. Okay. I'm going to turn it. And uh, I'm going to set this thing up. Or what is called cable cam, okay? Now, we will go ahead and make that the first spot. Then, like I said, I'm going to fly out. A hundred feet. And I'm going to go up to 55 feet at the same time. Ooh, yeah, I went too far. Let me let me bring it, bring it back to where I'm 100 feet away. All right, close enough. Now we're going to spin it, and we'll hit our A point. Now we're just going to fly out here 100 feet. Go up to 75. Well, I tell you, this thing is uh, it's truly a lot faster than the Evo. It uh, it gets away from you pretty fast. Okay, I'm gonna bring it back over here and take it up to 95 feet. Okay, we'll make that A. And then we'll bring it right back over here to us. And I'm gonna bring it down. To 35 feet. All right, and then we're gonna make that the, the end point. Okay, now I'm simply gonna fly this. Now what this will do is it'll fly itself backwards. And you're seeing it slowly descending to where it can get to its 75 feet. And see in here it's coming down to 55 feet. And then it should come down to the 35 feet here. All right, and I'm gonna fly it forward. We started off at 37 feet there. Okay, and at that point it was 50 by 55 feet. And so on its way to his next waypoint and it's going up to 75. Battery is getting low. 26%. <laughs> All right. Now it's coming up to its next point. And there's 90 feet. Okay, and it went a little over 91 feet. Now it's coming back around and down.
and there it is so that's it so now I'm gonna go ahead and land it okay this time I want to try the obstacle avoidance we're just going to run it up here to the FJ and whoa boy was that a hard break all right so that part works all right now I have heard others say that the rear does not work so I'm gonna back it up here all right let's try to back it and see what it does with the FJ behind it okay now it will still go right at it it would hit it it'll let me keep going wow so yeah so the real obstacle avoidance it'll warn you but it won't stop so it would slam into something all right so this will be the end of test and uh how crazy is that